Hey everyone, welcome back. It's t it's day four, and here we are. It's Gabriel, it's Grace, and... Ah! Well, that guy. Um, so... Uh, let's start with the, new the usual stuff. Um, first I'm going to talk to Grace. So... Your use of what? Okay, normal stuff. Um, I want to see if anyone... Got any group messages? Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Uh, messages. Do you have messages for me? Nope. None right now. Okay, uh, research. Could you do some? Sure. Uh, no research yet. Alright. I can't. So I need to read the paper. As I do every day. Times, whatever, d uh, dated June 21st, 1993. Gabriel's eye is immediately drawn to an article about the voodoo murders. He scans it t quickly. I don't believe this. They've closed the case. <gasps> what case? Can't close the case. The voodoo murders case. The paper says that the police have learned that the murders were the result of an underworld cartel war and that the war is over. That's not good. It's ridiculous. What about the killers? And the voodoo angle, they never got anything on that. I know you were into it, Gabriel. But if it's over, that's hardly a negative. Anyway, if you're that upset, why don't you talk it over with your pal Mosley? You don't get it, Grace. Just forget it, okay? Uh, Gabriel decides to check his horoscope, despite his disgust. Death walks close to you today. Resist temptation, lest his eye fall on you too. Peachy. Okay, I'm gonna write down... P.D. I have a list of places I wanted to go to, but, uh, yeah, they can't close the case this early. I know that there's ten days, and it's only day four. Anyway, I have pretty much half the points in the game, though. Um, so, yeah, I kind of want to look at this dude. Have you noticed this guy outside the shop? Yeah. He gives me the creeps. I wish he'd go away. Hey, get out of here. Get the hell out of here figure outside does not respond. Uh, I think they're kind of figuring out that I'm doing something. Alright, well, let's... first place I wanted to go was... was Tulane. Because I got a tip that, um... I needed to show the, uh... the Voodoo Murder... photograph. Um... to the professor. And also, um... I should be getting that, uh, research... It's tonight. You're back. Oh goody. Oh goody. Um, I should be getting that, uh, that research back, hopefully, but first I will show him the voodoo murder. Is there anything you can tell me about the voodoo aspects of this photograph? Hmm, this is serious voodoo and ritual. Nasty stuff. In what way? Let's see. I can't make out much detail from this photograph. Except for the corpse, of course. Okay. With the wound, the face, and what little I can see of the ritual paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of certain black voodoo and practices. Very rare. I've never witnessed them myself, you understand? Really? Interesting. Thanks. Oh, and I got a point for that? Uh, it was just about... You know, that there's black, dark voodoo magic going on, but, eh, points are points. Kind of knew about that. Alright, um... So, let's talk. Have you had any luck with that beve? I'm still working on it, Mr. Knight. When I'm finished, you'll be the first to know. Yeah, alright. Maybe tomorrow I'll have it then. Let me question. And if I... No um, yeah. Oh, black voodoo. That's a new option. Tell me what you mean by black voodoo. Well, like any religion, the beliefs can tend toward positive or negative ends. Can be used for good or evil. Christianity, for example, has its doppelganger, Satanism. Any time you attempt to set up an icon to explain evil, you invite some warped mind to worship it. The same is true of voodoo. There are those who are drawn by and desire personal power from the darker, bloodier, lower. 
Okay, so this is pretty much, um, you know, what I suspected. There's, like, two types of voodoo. The voodoo that, you know, like, Matamushka does, which is just, you uh, know, oh, dude. little baubles and tricks and whatever, but then there's dark stuff that, uh, is the voodoo murders. Uh, the next place I wanted to go was, uh, well, since Granny Knight's here, though I wanted to go to the bar so I can pick up my necklace. Or bracelet, actually, is what it is. Yes, Granny, walk so slow. Nice. I'm sure she knows... Make yourself. I'm sure she's very no knowledgeable about all of this black voodoo. <laughs> but since that thing popped up, I Can may we as well ask about it. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Is that something new? I don't think so. I don't know much about any kind of voodoo, Gabriel. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Okay. Well, I want to go to the bar. Um, well, you know, since I'm here, I may as well check everything around here. So I'm going to go to the crime scene, and nothing looks different here. Uh, hey, Getty, you want to... You want to finish that thought from last night? Hmm? Ms. Getty is unavailable, Mr. Knight. No. Oh well, it was worth a try. Okay, let's go to the French Quarter. I want to go to the bar, actually. And yes, uh... Okay, so... If you talk to Sam... when he's Sam, my man. Well, alright. Hey there, it's you! I got that bracelet for you. This piece was a real toughie. For some reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah, where to? Alright. Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. The old bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it! <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy watching him squeam through every mile. Sounds like fun. Good luck. Are you kidding? Luck is my middle name? Yeah, your, your, your name was not Luck for 20 years. <laughs> but it was yesterday, I guess. Alright, let's look at this thing. Uh, look at it? Sam's replica of Madame Casanu's uh, snake bracelet looks just like the original. Cool. I guess I can't, like, do anything. Oh, wait. There's no writing on the bracelet. I thought it said there is writing on the bracelet. Alright. Uh, well, since you're here... Could I... What about black voodoo? Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Nah. I prefer not to think about that kind of stuff personally. Crime, perversion, weirdos. <laughs> this makes me depressed. Yeah, I thought as much. Alright, um... So the next place I wanted to go was... Yeah, Cemetery, because the the Day 4 opener kind of uh, hinted that I need to go to the cemetery and the cathedral. And then I'll go to the police station. So, hey, how are you doing? Excuse me, sir. You got something to say, son? Yes. Uh, black voodoo. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? I see lots of voodoo markings in this cemetery. I see graves dug up and stuff you don't want to know about stolen from them. But voodoo, black voodoo, sounds like a devil of a distinction, you ask me. Fair enough. Let's go. Okay, anything out here? Looks the same. And... Looks the same. Maybe I can get that, uh... Maybe this will open up the, the plate. That doesn't work on the lock plate. Alright. Thought it was a pretty good shot, though. Yeah, alright. Uh, maybe it's something for later. 
So, I'm going to go to the cathedral. Which is here. Oh, actually, since... Yeah, someone sh uh, showed me the tip on... Um, if I go back... Oh. If you go back up to the north... You can go through the cathedral this way. So that's pretty neat. Um, so let's see. Though I don't see anything new here. Hey, I need the priest. Come back up here. Right here, right here, right here. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Here you are. May I? Uh, can I ask questions? Can I ask you a few questions? The confessional is not the best place for interviews, son. You can contact the parish offices if you need private counseling. I understand. Thanks, Father. Is there anything else? Um, give me a blessing. Could you give me a blessing? Would that comfort you, son? It couldn't hurt. Very well. Uh, the priest ga uh, blesses Gabriel through the window. Peace be. Thank you. Alright. Well, that's nothing new. I'm gonna go to the other one. Uh, if he pops up, maybe I can ask him if I can do some forgiving. Because I definitely have to do something in here. I mean, you know, the whole cross. May I help you, my child? The whole crosses thing at the beginning. Uh, I need to make a confession. I'd like to make a confession. All right. If it will make you feel better. I haven't paid my assistant for three months. Have you had the money? Nope. Sounds like a matter for the court, son. Not the church. <laughs> Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. Goodbye, then. Uh, well, that was not very helpful. Maybe I have to go to the police station before I can do any of that stuff. Alright, well, let's get out. Because I have a bone to pick with Mosley if he's going to close the case on me. Actually, since I'm here, I'll talk to you first. Hey, nice thing. He always says that. Um, Got us. Ooh, I bet he knows everything about black voodoo. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Isn't that kind of the same thing? Actually, no. Well, all I know about voodoo is to keep away from it. You should too, Knight. Well, at least he actually <laughs> was cautionary this time. I'm here. He's in his... Eh, uh, whatever. He's there. Has that beignet guy been by yet today? I'm starved. I haven't seen him in a while. I don't think he's coming by here anymore. Damn. You can't count on anything these days. Uh, note to self. I guess I need to find the beignet guy. Which, by the way, uh, um, I've gotten plenty of comments about it. Uh, yeah, you know, if I ever go to... Uh, New Orleans. I don't have any plans to, but if I do, yeah, I'll try a bandana myself. It seemed to, be, to look pretty good. Hey, hey, hey! Knight, I had a feeling you'd show up. Knight, I hate to tell you this, but you're out of a book. Boo. The Voodoo Murders case has been closed. I had a feeling you were going to say that, son of a bitch. Um... You been feeling okay lately? You look like hell. Me? Ah, uh, you know, I can't sleep at night, what with thinking about the case and thinking about Annie. I can relate. Okay, um, that's a question. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer, ask away. Uh, first let's talk about black voodoo. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Sounds like a put on to me. Sure enough. Uh, what's the case status? What's the status on the Voodoo Murders case? The case? What case? I told you, the Voodoo Murders case is closed! How can you just close it? It's not solved, is it? Oh, it's solved. Turns out the Chicago Mafia was trying to invade local territory, using Mississippi for drug running now that Florida's so hot. Hmm. What we had here was a little resistance from local businessmen. Word came in this morning that the Chicago group is giving up and pulling out of New Orleans. But that doesn't bring the killers to justice. Well, the boys upstairs seem to figure it this way. Let the slime kill each other. 
Better the vermin we know than the Chicago vermin, I guess. The attitude in the department is that we've just been done a huge favor. <clears throat> They're Excuse probably me. right. What about the local cartel? Are you just gonna let them go? At least they're part of us. We'll deal with them over time. Always have. New Orleans is pretty clean that way. You pretty know? clean that well, way. Well, that's the illusion, isn't it? <sighs> Look, I'm not totally in agreement here either, but what can I do? These guys are not about to get caught. I'm disappointed about the book, too. Next big murder case I get, I'll call you in and we'll do that one upright, okay? In fact, I could probably dig up some old cases and you could spice them up. No, thanks. Alright. By the way, um, Murder Mystery 103, I guess, uh, usually the cop, usually one of the cops or detectives is one of the bad guys, but I don't feel it from him. In fact, um, I recently found out, actually, that, uh, the person playing Mosley is, uh, Mark Hamill, and you may know his, that, uh, that name from, uh, Luke Skywalker or the Joker, although the Joker isn't. Anyway. Uh, reopen How case. can I convince you to reopen the case? Look, the department's not interested. So? Couldn't you make them interested? With what? I've got seven bodies and still no leads. The voodoo angle's worthless. And besides, these people aren't hurting anybody but out-of-town drug dealers and hitmen. The voodoo stuff is not worthless. It's the key to the whole thing. And these people are dangerous. They need to be stopped. Okay. You want me to reopen this case? Prove what you just said. What do you mean? You need to prove there's a legitimate voodoo cult in New Orleans. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. Ah, this is how it's gonna go. So in order to progress, I need to find all these three things. Okay, what was those three things? How can I convince you to reopen the case? I already told you. You need to prove there's a legitimate voodoo cult Proof. in New Orleans. Prove that they're uh, a threat. Cult. Get me a lead on the cult. Prove threat and lead on cult. Okay. Well, maybe I can show him a couple things. Well, may as well start from the beginning. I have that murder photo you left for me. Good. Just don't let anybody know I gave it to you. I wouldn't show it to a soul. But yeah, Mark Hamill wouldn't do a bad... You know, he wouldn't be a bad cop, I don't think. I have that photo of you graduating from the police academy. Yeah, my mom loves that one. Okay, let me show him actual things that I think will work. Um, such as... Wait, what was this? This is... Oh, the New Orleans. Okay. The, that's the phone book. That's the letter. This is the clipping. This is a newspaper clipping about a murder committed in 1810. That murder is an exact match of the voodoo murders right down to the marks around the bodies. Hmm. This does sound like the same M.O. 1810? 1810. They killed then, they're killing now. Isn't that proof that they're likely to kill again? That they are a threat? Sure. If there is a voodoo cult, they're a threat. Uh, well, I got points for that. Let's keep going. What is this? Um, for Heinz Ritter? Meh. Let's try something else. I can always come back if this isn't complete. Uh, what about the Vey Vey? You know those marks you found around the murder victims? This is a reconstruction of the whole pattern. What makes you think this is an accurate reconstruction? Well, I borrowed the partial patterns from your police file and did my own tracing of the pattern at Lake Pontchartrain. An architectural artist reconstructed it for me from the partials. Really? So this is the whole pattern, huh? Well, that's pretty good work, Knight. But that doesn't prove that this pattern is really connected to voodoo. Meh. True enough. What else do I have? Uh... I have a gala gator mask. I have this. Alright. Um... 
snake scale that was at the crime scene. I picked up this scale at Lake Pontchartrain. Yeah? Well, what makes you think it's related to the murders? Well, it was at the crime scene. Sure. Must be from the only snake in Louisiana, all right? That voodoo snake. Christ. Uh, pff, okay, that didn't help. Uh, which means this scale is not gonna help, or probably this snake. Uh, what about the... The, the, the code. These symbols are from Marie Laveau's tomb in St. Louis Cemetery. They're part of a secret voodoo code, which I had translated by a voodoo yen. Do they say anything about the murders? Well, not exactly. I'm sure that's a legit code of some sort, Knight, but unless it gives me the names and addresses of the killers, I don't think it'll be much help at this point. Okay. necklace or the bracelet I have this snake bracelet it's a replica of one used in secret voodoo ceremonies a few decades ago really what makes you think so I got it from an old Creole lady whose grandmother was an acolyte of Marie Laveau Gabriel Gabriel we get these little old ladies in here all the time that bracelet is probably not genuine, and it wouldn't prove anything if it were. Hmm, alright. I'm kind of running out of things. Hey, this was at Marie Laveau's tombstone. I have this. That does- Alright. I'm kind of curious about what this brick is for. Um... Well, has anything changed? Can I have- yeah. So, if I want to How reopen the case- You prove there's a legitimate voodoo cult in New Orleans. Get me a lead on the cult. Okay, so I did get rid of the proof there's a threat. Looks like the rest of this um, episode or day is probably going to be finding the other two things. So I'm going to hit the rope. Later, night. It's time to start exploring. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find the bed. Well, let's see. The beignet guy was a big hint. I'm gonna see if she's around. I've been told that uh, the fortune teller might be uh, Kazanu, which would be weird. I mean, it has the same voice, sure. Uh, there's no answer. Perhaps Kazanu got even more paranoid than usual and decided to get out of town? Uh, maybe. Okay, so I got that done, that done, that done that done. Uh, I'll go to Jackson Square in a minute. Moonbeam? Gabriel Knight? Come in. Hello. Please, be seated. It's just that I didn't see anything at Jackson Square, but I also kind of rushed to get to the cathedral. Um, what about Vac Black Voodoo? Could I ask you a few questions? Of course. Black Voodoo. Do you know anything about Black Voodoo? It is the oldest, darkest heart of Voodoo. Was well, that it? Do you know anything? There are some things it is better not to know about, Monsieur Knight. Okay. Do you know? There. Well, that was helpful. Let's move out. Well, I get. The only. Get out of here. Um. Well. Hello. Uh, can ask Grace as well. Go. So that would be. Do you know? Black voodoo. Now, what are you getting yourself into? Nothing you need to know about. Do you? I know there are dark forms of any major religion. Where there's a yin, there's a yang. Speaking of yin and yang... <laughs> but no. I don't know anything really about voodoo, dark or otherwise. Sorry. Uh, that was a good segue, Mr. Knight. Uh, you are desperate. I told you I can't help you. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I get you. Let's go. Uh... 
Dr. John probably would know. Dr. John probably also won't tell me. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you... Could I ask you some... Um... Do you know anything about black voodoo? That sort of viewpoint makes my work very difficult, Mr. Knight. I'm not implying that all voodoo is evil, but there are certain practitioners that use voodoo towards a darker end, aren't there? No one that I am familiar with. If there are one or two ignorant believers, that is none of my concern. And I do not care to promote a Hollywood interpretation of voodoo by discussing it. Wow. You really don't know anything about black voodoo practices? I believe I already indicated my intolerance for that line of inquiry. Wow. Uh, he either really hates it or he's really defensive. Certainly one of those. Uh, let's get out of here. Goodbye, Doc. So, unless Dixieland has something to say, I need to definitely go to... Jackson Square, because that's ah. the only place left. Uh, okay, let's question you. Oh. Hey, what do you know about black voodoo? I don't know anything about black voodoo, probably. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Oh, no such thing, I tell you for sure. Yeah, he surely... Do you know black... He doesn't know anything about voodoo, it's just his shop is... Completely voodoo. Alright, let's go to Jackson Square. Or, no, I didn't go to the Overlook first, actually. <coughs> cough, cough, <laughs> cough. Who are you? It's Crash. Oh, Crash. Uh, the guy from Mosley's office. At the first uh, sight of Gabriel, he slashed around like, uh, slashes away like a beaten dog. Hmm. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, I didn't notice him. No, get out of here. Why am I walking so slow? Just a minute. Man, that was weird. Okay, hey, crash. <coughs> oh my god. He keeps doing this, and I have to... <laughs> hey, crash! Wait up! He looks scared and continues to walk. Mm. <coughs> oh my god, stop coughing. I'm clicking through his coughing, but he, he keeps doing it. <coughs> uh... J crash? I don't know, maybe I can... Th show him something? Uh, what about the Vey Vey? Crash is too far away for that? Okay, so he's... Too far away for me to give him anything. He won't talk to me. He goes away anytime I'm around the map. He's coughing. <coughs> I can't just run up to him. Yeah, can I? No. Oh, there's the Benya guy. <laughs> Hey, buddy. You want to talk? Hello. What can I do for you, sir? What the heck are beignets, anyway? What the heck are beignets, anyway? Deep fried sweet dough with powdered sugar on top. New Orleans donuts, sir. What happened to the guy that used to be here? What happened to the guy who used to be here? The lucky dog guy? Uh, I took over his spot. Uh, is there any way I could convince you to go to the police department? Prob... well... Nothing looks... makes sense on what I have. I'm kinda interested in seeing if I can... well... Crash gets running away from me, maybe I can... do something at the Overlook. So, I can operate these, right? Yeah, there we go. There he is. That's Crash. What the hell is he up to with that drummer? Ah, uh, he 
he's going in the direction of the cathedral, I think. I'm gonna see if he's still there. is here anymore. Yep. So that means that, uh, pretty sure he's going to be in the cathedral, and I should end this episode. So in the next episode, I'm going to go in the cathedral, and I imagine that Crash is going to be there, and we're going to have a little bit of fun. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching.